the Nikki Glaser podcast. Here's Nikki. Hello. It's me. It's Nikki. Welcome to the show. Here I am. It's Nikki Laser Podcast. Happy Wednesday to y'all. I know it's Wednesday because we did Reddit yesterday, and I know Reddit's on Tuesday. That's how I keep track of the week. Good. Just how many days after we talked about my Reddit finds. That's how I'm keeping track. Today's podcast might be out a little bit later than usual. Not sure, but I just want to say that we could have skipped it today. It's late in the day. We weren't able to do it this morning because I, Perfect Strangers 2, needed us both so early. Mm -hmm. But um, we said, no, we want to do a pod. We need to do a pod. We gave them three last week because of the holiday. What holiday was it? President. Yep. It was president. I don't know which one. but And um, so we're doing it. And it's going to be a special one. We're not going to talk about murder unless it comes up. Right? Right. I mean, there's probably five topics that always come up. Right. Well, I just want to cover a couple with them. things. Before. Okay, murder. <laughs> Molestation, murder. Molestation, yeah. Moles and Columbine. Mm. <laughs> just saying mm at the end of it. You didn't say, I didn't say Being where the M was. I didn't say Columbine where the M was. News. Man, we did not get to it. I mean, I guess we could maybe get to it today. What uh, one of our besties wrote to us about Columbine. And we still haven't talked about Taylor Swift's heavy metal. Maybe we never get to those. Who knows? But they're coming. We're coming up on a year of the podcast. We have a lot of people who, um, obviously, on during Fan Thrax, we always hear people that are like, I've been listening since I'm an OG fan, like started at the beginning. Some of you are working your way back to put together the pieces of the inside jokes that we ourselves don't even know the origin of at this point. But um, regardless of it, we, we just love our fans so much. And you've heard me say it before, but if you're listening to this podcast, either it's your first time or your last time, I'll miss you, but... Uh, I really appreciate you guys giving us a shot and having us in your lives. Yeah, and it's awesome. um, I wanted to follow up on a, one thing that I'm dying to know about just for my own personal interest. Noah um, hung out with my best friend from high school who I talked about earlier this week. Um, her curtain was threatening to close. Yes. Hala, also known as Hey, because my friends in high school, we just got lazy saying things. So we went from Laura Holly, which is her name, to Hala to why do I feel like it's harder to say than Laura Holly? Like it just we added an umlaut over it. We didn't even know what that meant. Um, she was the goalie of our field hockey team, the one that I wasn't on after you know. Yeah, sophomore you're playing year. hard to get on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like I could play. I mean, part of you wanted to be competitive with it. I feel like no, no. I kn- really? I know when I'm not good at something, I just know. You clam up. Do what huh? you're good at. Be uh-huh. a, be fun to be around. But you're not unathletic. I know, but it wasn't. I'm not good at uh, coordination and right. balls. Really? And you swing a golf club. I could. I disagree. I just for knew not I w- playing golf, you have a good golf swing. But I, I, I'm. You know what? I get so nervous on the field. Like if it's going to come to me. Like even during kickball back in the day in high school, like or middle school, grade school, even the terrified guys, the of the guys any are going to say you suck. Yep, and the guys are going to make fun of me. The girls were always on my side. I never felt like that, but it just. And then by high school, I think with field hockey, I wanted to do it because my friends were doing it and it's fun and you run a lot. I like the running part of it mm-hmm. and I loved how good water tasted because it would be so hot. I've ne- I always think back to just chugging my iced up igloo cooler oh, yeah. of, of water and thinking this is the best taste I've ever had and how satisfying the end of practice was. And I kind of missed that. But when I got shin splints that made me not be able to walk, I was so grateful that I had to quit. You know, it was amazing before football. And I think they probably do that a lot in a lot of high schools. They, the parents would make pasta for the kids. Yeah, we would carb would, load you before would, yeah, swim carb meets. load before a game. Yeah, and yeah. That's something I'm like literally salivating right now because I'm just thinking about how good mm. the fucking. I always got a. Uh, what's the one that starts with an R? Rigatoni. <sighs> um, Rolla Station. Yeah, that uh, was Rollenbein. Big Z D. Wait, what it was really it? was Big Z D. Oh, Big Z D. I don't know why I thought it's sorry. Ravioli stars or oh, ravioli, there, but yeah. but it was Big Z D. Oh, okay. And honestly, I don't know if this was the best food to eat before. No, I don't, this whole carbo loading. I think that was an early two thousands, late nineties. They're like, you got a game in thirty minutes. Take down this fucking pizza. It's like really. But also, I think, don't go swimming if you've just eaten. You know, like <laughs> which is it? You can get a cramp and drown. So what is it? 
<laughs> um, and also, if a shark gets you, you don't want them to have a second meal. So that's why you really don't eat before. Well, you don't want to like give that's them what they something tell you. extra. They tell you don't go in if you're bleeding or if you, you have. You want to be like one of those little rigatoni. Kinder balls where there's once he bites you open, there's another surprise of some rigatoni. Oh man, I've been thinking about that guy a lot more than if we haven't made jokes about his tragic passing. I want to say that jokes keep someone alive. Sometimes tragic thing to think about. And I'm, we're never using him for fodder. That is not it. But it probably doesn't help that we look out at the ocean every day. Yes, and are reminded yeah. of thrashing waters and a floating torso. We also that saw you a guy swimming me. alone yesterday. What are you I know, doing swimming alone? I know. Alone? I go. Haven't you? You said. Haven't you heard of of, of Simon Simon Cow, uh, who's taller, younger <laughs> brother? What I was going to say about field hockey is that Hala was our our goalie and she's just we came up with this thing of like holla don't care because she would just be like i don't care in sixth grade she wore a shirt that we made fun of that said whatever and we were like oh holla really this was this was popular in sixth grade it was k this was b- uh, before yeah. we had k we would make fun of people that would go like whatever yeah you're a moron just walk away and you would do the w turn it to an m and then just move your fingers to make it walk and then holla showed up <laughs> one day with a cat in the hat hat on you remember those they were pretty cool I do remember that. She like got a cat in the hat hat and then she was wearing a shirt that said like whenever. And we were just like, when did you become like so like counterculture, like sixth grade, like suburb we we you know, you're just searching for any kind of identity and um it turned into Holla Don't Care. I do love when you wear a ridiculous hat and then you already have a comeback on your shirt. Like you yeah. are already <laughs> anticipating people making fun of your hat. Yes. And then you're going, Whatever. Whatever. I had all said it's all here. It is good though. And then your shorts are like, just kidding. <laughs> They just said, um, bro. We are like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, how boring. Um, bro, what's with your Logic, shirt? Logic, bro. Um, inside joke, real inside. Real inside. Um, like, a, that's not even a ham drip. That's a ham river. Oh, that's no a fucking roast swimming. beef cloud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Noah, how was it hanging out with Hala, and did she cur? And did she say anything about Nikki? That's... Or did her curtain close? What did she say about Nikki in oh, high wait, school? Were... Anything that we don't know? Um, I guess I heard more about like um, your friendships in in college. We we're talking about that, mm. and um, I so she hashtagged in our text as we were anticipating the morning because like she's in Tempe, Arizona. She, she was in Tempe, Arizona, and and we met there. So I had like this long drive, and it was the first time I was meeting her in person. We had just only been texting oh here and there, and she hashtagged it blind date, and I was like, you know what? I do feel like I'm about to go on a blind date, like a friendship blind date. Oh my date. God. Yeah. I, I really commended I f- you on doing this. Thanks. Well, I was a fan of hers uh, from like all the stories that you tell about her. And uh, then when I came over, you had sent her a message that I'm here and I say hello. And then um, you tagged her on Instagram and I was like, I'm just going to start following her and like say hi. And she she's like, the the coolest person over text she's very social and you could just feel her like like good vibes even in like a text message she's just awesome she's so, a good hang she, i got really lucky hang. yeah yeah so you had fun but you that, that is scary to me going on a new date with a new friend like it's all very intimidating i really commend you for being like i'm open to hang out with someone new and like drive to meet them and I don't know. It's all uh, that 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 all that makes me nervous. I'm sure some of our listeners can probably relate to that nervousness of like, oh, new friend. Yeah, and also I'm very like I feel like my natural inclination is to be antisocial. So this was a really good way to push mm-hmm. myself out of that. And even though on the surface we might not have anything in common or we come from two very different places, after we spend time together, we actually learned that we have a lot in common. And um, Aww, isn't that just, sweet? It was so great. And then after what, the fact, what, like, even what music did you listen to on the way there? I'm just wondering. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good question. What do you listen to oh, before listen- going to meet a new friend and you're kind of nervous? Well, there's a new band that I like. Uh, it's Crib Death. I was listening to <laughs> Crib Death. <laughs> what was it? What's it called? No, called Crib Death. They're, I was. Ga- they're called Unprocessed. So I was listening Whoa. to them, just getting familiar with their catalog, Whoa. their album. Okay. <laughs> not, not cool. I, you know what? I commend you on all of this because I am someone who not only 
new friends I want to meet I, I'll, I'll, I'll meet someone in person I'll go okay I already know you like the idea of meeting someone online and even online dating was very hard for me of like what if this person shows up and they totally suck and they're so different on text and it's awkward I don't all these dumb fears that are never realized because you can always just go I don't know you know I did this once and I don't have to do it again but also listening to new music I find very hard to do and um, I'm impressed with all of it yeah, she and I'm did a so, double. She did a new catalog and a new friend. But you know how Noah just said, I, I have a tendency to be antisocial, so I wanted to do the thing that was the opposite of that, that would challenge that. Like That's what I love about Noah is that she, in the face of those things, you do the opposite. Like You are aware of the things. You're not just stuck in your ways of like, well, this is just the way I am. You're like, I, I can tell I'm missing out on something and I don't want to just be that way mm -hmm. and and or yes. if I am that way I want to know that I at least tried the other way like when I went canoeing one time <laughs> in my adulthood in recent time <laughs> I was just like I say I hate this all the time let me get another another shot to see if it really holds up that I hate it and it turns out I was totally right. right. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. You saw where that was going. Yeah, I mean, I, I, there were parts of it I liked, but for the most part, it wasn't something I would pick to do again. And at least you can say you did it. I went with my brother-in-law with his Big Muddy Adventures. It's a St. Louis company. If you're coming to St. Louis and you want to do an outdoorsy activity and like canoe on the Mississippi River, like past the arch and all this shit that people don't ever get to do, Big Muddy Adventures, shout out to them, but not my, not my bag. And I, on my last podcast... Um, when I was doing it over COVID, I had described one of the guys that was on the canoe trip with us as a wet old man because he was doing this demo of showing us, like, if you fall out of the canoe, here's how you get into another one. And so he jumped out of his and came over to ours. <laughs> and I just did it. My sister and I were just like, we just don't want to deal with, like, a wet man. Because <laughs> we were in this big group. So we called this guy a wet old man on my podcast. I had no idea that he would ever hear it. But of course someone told him that I called him a wet old man. So then, this is really funny. So then I felt so embarrassed. I didn't want to see this guy again, even though he works for the company that my brother-in-law is at. And I do run into him because he's there all the time. Yeah. So I was so embarrassed. He thought it was funny. Everyone was like, no, he gets it. It's a joke. So one day I was visiting my brother-in-law's office and they had this whiteboard with all this like to-do list. And so I drew on the I drew on the to-do list. I wrote, like in the middle of it, I, I wrote, dry out the wet old man. <laughs> <laughs> Did he see it? And then there was one night when the wet old man got a little drunk at, a, at a, 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 some kind of Christmas party or something. And the next day he had overslept for work. And so he later saw that and thought it was them it was oh. everyone planning an intervention for him <laughs> to dry him out. And so he goes, message received, Matt. Message received. And Matt was like, what do you mean? Wait, He's like, what? I this got what ridiculous. you're saying. ridiculous. And it was a total mis like miscommunication. And the wet old man, who is not even old, and he's actually, there was one time where I was like, who's that? And I was like, oh, my God, that's wet old man. He looks good. I heard he just got his two-year chip. But he, yeah, he, he said to Matt, message received. I got it. And Matt's like, what are you talking about? He's like, I saw what you wrote on the board. I get it. I'll, I, you know what? Got it. And he's like, wait, I don't know. And he goes, because I didn't even tell Matt I wrote that, I don't think. And so it was just sitting up there, you know, on whiteboards when people write stuff. And it's like, you, it looks like an active board, but it's all been sitting there forever. So, um, yeah. And yeah. It was really funny that he was just like, got it. And Matt's like, wait. <laughs> he's like, I got the sign. Like they would I confront him about his yeah. drinking by writing dry out wet old man. I love that's the idea of his intervention. That's how they plan an intervention. His intervention is just him uh, like accidentally walking in on the board and the board's like, look, you got a problem. <laughs> I fucking, it, I, speaking of dry erase board, I remember Rusty, back to Rusty, his aunt one time sat us down. She opened like an office and she sat us down and she brought us into this room real quiet. Like, you guys got to see this. And we're like, what the fuck? Like, what it, could it be? Mm -hmm. And we walk in and it's like a conference room. Nothing else in there except a dry erase board. And <laughs> she writes Rusty on the board. Yeah. And she takes the eraser and she erases it and goes, huh? No. Swear to God. No, Swear like this God. is what you're doing with your life? No, no. You're going to be a racist. <laughs> Not everything's a sign. <laughs> no, she no, was literally she was just bragging like... That they the got a dry erase board? That it can erase. What? Was yes. this the first time she was seeing a dry erase board? 
Oh, I thought she was doing an intervention like, see you now? <laughs> Look what drugs can do to you. I thought it was another dry erase board <laughs> intervention story. <laughs> Look, if you have a dry erase board. I do love dry erase boards. How great is that crisp feeling of like writing with one for the first time? Oh, it is nice. Oh, and I like erasing. Would- what but, about when they erase, the teacher would erase it, and there would be one little, like, the, the tail of the T would still be on it, and it's all you can think about? Mm-hmm. I love that that's such a common I know, feeling. but I'm a lefty, so it would come off. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. Any lefty out there knows your fucking hand here? Mm-hmm. Just done. At I the saw end it on of the Reddit day, the just done. Oh, really? Yeah, people were like, this is a le- lefty's understand. It was just a guy's hand that was With just all marked all over. up. Yeah, 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 just marked up. Yeah, black hand. Sucks. Yeah, well, um, today we're going to do something different. We're, you, during today's Perfect Stranger shoot, you put out a call on our Instagram, I guess, to for, for besties to send in questions for us. Yeah, correct? Q&A, open to anything. What's so funny is your ass fucking oh, thumbs yeah. downed it. No way. I swear to God, oh, yeah. and I'm looking at you. Well, my ass doesn't want to do it. I know your ass doesn't, but maybe your brain does. But you were looking at me. I'm looking at you, looking at the other people on Perfect Strangers, and I'm going... My butt was so sweaty out there, and I sat on my phone, and it butt dialed you a bunch, but it also thumbs down. down. It thumbed down. I love that my ass has an opinion. Where Noah goes... Yeah, it goes... uh, Noah goes, open to anything? Like, like, is that what you want to name the segment? And you just go, thumbs down. I'm looking at you like... How is she doing everything? And then I thought maybe Robin had your phone. That's what I thought. And I thought she was fucking with us. Got it. And then you start doing join FaceTime calls. I'm like, what the fuck? I am so glad it called you guys instead of anyone. And I love I I FaceTimed you with my, literally, I was sitting on my phone with my bare ass because my dress was so short. I mean, not that you would have been able to see anything, but I could have FaceTimed nearly anyone. Oh my Thank yeah. God. Oh my you. God. It would have been an upskirt. Yes. Or an inskirt. Whoa. <laughs> and it would up. have been, yeah. That's a lot. That's up close and personal, boy. And I'm so glad it didn't pick up for you. Was it picking up? Could you see anything? Could you hear anything? I mean, there was a Did black hole. Did you hear hole. my lines to I Balky? Just... <laughs> I, I thought something had happened. Because the... usually when you, do, when you do a FaceTime call, it's, you know, you know, especially with me and Andrew, it was a group call. So I was like, "Oh no, I hope everything is all right." So up. I picked up, yeah. Oh, I'm and so sorry. I did video. You were yeah. on audio, and I started hearing <laughs> stuff. But like, so I just hung up real quick because I felt like it was like an, an invasion of your privacy. Because I realized that it was oh, that you had thank butt dialed you. us. <laughs> yeah, I was like, at least okay, it's on I'm our so glad. message. I wonder how many butt dials have like someone's got caught cheating or caught like. Doing so, or you're just talking I would shit love about to hear someone. Some stories from our besties about oh. that of like the worst times you've called. I mean, there's always the story of people talking shit about someone, and then you you send it to that person. Oh yeah, you send the text oh, to that. Person. Oh, oh my, my god. god! But I do want to say that um, during the sh- what was I just gonna during. say? Fuck, hold on. During the sh- during the um, Perfect Strangers taping, fuck, it was something good. Um, you oh uh me brain not working no not well um no just uh okay never mind well I'm sorry that I thumbs down that oh just the idea that I would be just like oh I know what I wanted to say I want to say today was full of fuck ups for me you thought I might be dead this morning because I didn't wake up to my yeah. alarm clock I didn't I wake do. up to the phone call twenty five percent of me thinks you're dead yeah. Like Robin was so scared. She's banging on my door for 20 minutes, she said. And it, finally her pounding like, you know, was in my dream because I was getting pounded in my dream too. And so oh, it started wow. to sound like fucking knocking wood. Um, and I woke up, but sh- just to have my friend, I'm like, when your friends think because you are not waking up that you've killed yourself, you aren't doing something right. Like something's wrong. And so I told Robin, I go, I would never kill myself before the I thought end you of the killed show. yourself on the plane that one time. <laughs> I know. You, I thought you've killed yourself I'm maybe I would never 75 kill times. I know. I promise you I'm never going to kill myself. So if I do yeah. die via suicide, it's like an Epstein situation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I had an island for pedophiles. That's gotcha. what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, um, no, Told but you molestation it was funny up. today because I go. And murder I've already came up. I go, you thought, I go, you thought I could kill myself? And Andrew goes, no, I just thought you died of old age. <laughs> <laughs> Which then you killed yourself after so you heard funny. that. Yes. So good. Okay. Well, we have a, a lot of questions to get through today. That's what we're doing on the show today. You want to know something cr- real questions. crazy though? What? 
you know what? How old Jesus was when he died? Thirty five. Thirty three. You know oh. what the age to life expectancy back then was? What? Thirty five. Wait, so he died young. So I, I well, two years before the life expectancy. <laughs> so he would have. He was due to die in two years. I just saw a bit on this, and people oh. were like, you could have just waited it out. He would have been dead in two oh, years, that's... and then no one would even be talking about him anymore. What would you die of back then? Fuck. Just probably flu stuff. Right, looking too hot on a cross or something? Yeah. I mean, all right. Well, that's, an, that, who, that's someone's bit. Yeah. Leprosy. Oh, yeah. Maybe leprosy. Oh, that's a tough one. Really? Oh, my God. Have you seen pictures of people with leprosy? Just, uh, it's... It's bad. There's always these 1800s photos. It was life was already so hard back there, back then, that to walk around with an open wounds on your face, and then you would you would get shipped to an island. Didn't they end up going to like being shipped to like Hawaii or something? I hope so. At least it was like tropical. I remember nice there was out. a movie where there were lepers and they were like out on. That like, was leopards, and it was uh, Jungle Book. So that was a different. Movie. Oh, yeah. But we're gonna get to animal. your questions in one second. <laughs> Coming back right after this. Coming in now. We're back. We're going to answer your questions. Oh we got a lot on Instagram. Um, Noah, are you going to take us through these? I haven't seen any of them. Andrew saw a lot of them. He said there's enough to like take us and, you know, we could do like I mean, this could just episodes. be the new show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, <laughs> let's get to some of them. How about Andrew and I do it? Love it. Like we'll, we'll ping pong Would back and forth. Would you rather... <laughs> no, you could pick. Go ahead, no. Honestly, you could have this and the news. I, I won't have anything. It's all you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. No, 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 it's fine. I just like won't eat or like, you, you know, know what I'll that guy kill is? Myself. The guy with the cat in the hat hat and whatever shirt. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's cool. We whatever, no, you, you do you. Shirt. All right. All right. You do you. Noah, what's the first question? Okay, so from Carlito Burrito One <laughs> Mac and mm. cheese or oatmeal? I mean, I'm going to go oatmeal. You know that. Mac and cheese. I mean, those are such different foods. Not vegan. But if I'm going with like in a world where, you know, health is not concerned, fucking mac and cheese, yo. Mac and cheese all day. Kraft, double up the cheese. Kraft. Put in more milk. Yes. Oh, put in more milk. Oh, I mean. I wonder what mac and cheese is like with almond milk or like an oat milk. Like right. what you would delicious. even use. Really? Yeah, I need mac and cheese. Ah, it's good. I hate these people. It's hard are like, to fuck this it is up. the best mac and cheese. Yeah, it's just cheese and fucking. I mean, it's great. I, I like, like cold mac and cheese, actually. Next day. Oh, yeah. I'll oh, my God. And everyone always says that mac and cheese sounds like fingering a girl or something like that or like a wet pussy or whatever. Have you ever heard that? No, but I guess it's a mac inside some cheese. No, it's like when you squish your finger around. <laughs> like when you squish it? Like, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Sound, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like a wet puss. What so about you, Noah? You like time. oatmeal puss or mac yeah. and cheese puss? What do you like your pussies to sound like? Uh, probably go for the I mac was and cheese puss. <laughs> All right, yeah. Just wet, sloppy. What's your favorite kind of mac and cheese, though? There is, I guess, a lot of different kinds. I just, uh, you know, I really like, I don't like eating broccoli unless it's in mac and cheese. Add broccoli to it. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> the way that your parents got eat things, vegetables. <laughs> why aren't more things added to, to mac and cheese than just bacon, broccoli, green chili? What else is added to it? Oh, wow. Hot dogs. Southwest. No, really? Oh, no, that's pork and beans. That's really good, oh, though, yeah. too. That was a big meal when I was a kid. I used to do the the, the instant mac and cheese where you just, do, oh. you know, peel the Hell yeah. lid back on the cup. I mean, I mean, what's wh- why is that so much worse? Microwaving is much, an art, and I'm yeah. really good at it. I have to say, I know exactly how much time. Well, with your need bagel to bites and pizza rolls, what are you doing? Oh, the, I, I got to put those in the oven because those get chewy. Those bagel bites get are too chewy, and then they're inedible. They're, you literally can't get through them. I think I'd like to think that, like Maybe the Blink One Eighty Two song, like you know, you know, you're an adult. Mm. What? And there a, a song. This is growing up. Oh I yeah, guess this I guess is this gro- is growing up. I honestly it. felt like I was finally a uh, mature adult when I would put bagel bites in the oven because I was a microwave. Oh my god! Man. Anytime I use the the oven, I feel <laughs> like I should. I could run for president. <laughs> I feel like I should be, you know, at some global summit of some sort. Dude, I didn't use a big oven until recently. 35, and then remember 36. the pizza rack incident? I mean, we d- you didn't know how to get things out of it. You could put things in it. Pizza rack was worse than Pizza Gate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. What? We're off to some really yeah, riveting... Yeah, that's a good question. That's an interesting question. Yeah, that's a head scratcher. Okay, here's a... 
Here's a good one from Hank's daughter. Have Nikki, Andrew, or Noah ever had an obsessive person in your life or been stalked? Thanks. Been docked. What's docked? What does that mean? No, stalked. What, what's it stalked. called when you stalk? Oh, oh, oh. You know what? This is not the place I would talk about it if I had been, you know, because usually stalkers are. You it, have plenty it, it of seems like he's, like he's offering. He's like, do you guys want one? I mean, have I you ever had a, there's a difference, I think, between like online stock versus person stock. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've had some friends obsessed with you that where it got a little weird. I've never. Uh, Especially the more you become a celebrity. Nah, it hasn't happened. I don't I really don't want it to. And um, there have been people that I could tell are like, Nikki, I love you so much. Like they they think we have a relationship that we don't um, based on whatever they saw or something. And it's usually really long. Like I don't even read it because I don't want to let it in because there's nothing I can do about it. Mm hmm. Um, so that's kind of been the only times. And then we've had a couple incidents on the road that I don't really want to talk about that have been terrifying. Oh shit. Yeah. Remember the one time though, that there was a guy that came to the meet and greet. I still use the thing that he eventually pulled out. He was this guy. Oh my God. It was in LA, I think at the Ace Hotel. And everything about the scene, you would think he's got something scary. He He just didn't look like he was like a norm, like a, a one of my fans. He was there at the show alone. He was at the meet and greet. He went to the end so he could have more time with me. You could tell he was like hanging back in the line, which is a lot of things that stalker people do. Oh man, I had another stalker, not a stalker, but a guy that I had to, you know, I couldn't meet people after the show because he was there a couple times. Um, that was in my club, club days, but this guy, he was so, he ended up being so sweet and just like kind of eccentric looking, but he had a bag of things he wanted to give me. And one of them was jeans with a bunch of like drawings on them that had nothing to do with me or him or anyone. They were just jeans he found. Another was like a random old shirt that he found that it was like, it wouldn't even fit me. The jeans were children's jeans, by the way. Like I, I was flattered that he thought they would fit me. And then at the very end, he's rummaging around this bag, Noah, and it's me, Andrew, Matt, and Emil all just kind of, Andrew and Matt and Emil are already like tired of this guy's shit. It's the end of the meet and greet. They're like, they're just like suspect of him. And I'm trying to be nice because I'm like, maybe he's just like special. And, and so I'm like, oh, thank you so much. What else do you have? And he's, he's rooting around. And it seems like he was like, going to be like, and one more thing, gun. I mean, that's what we all thought separately. Yeah. All of us, because he was searching this bag that didn't seem to be like there's not much in it. It seemed like he was waiting to get the to like put it right in his like to hold it the right yeah, way that's or to like, to like. Un, undo it. Whatever you do, how do you take the? Lock I thought off? either a gun or a knife or a gun with a knife on the end of it, like a yeah, baron, a, a, baron, a bayonet, ben, <laughs> ba- baron, a baron, a net. baron Trump. And so <laughs> he, but then he pulls out a brush, and which he, is weirder than a gun. Honestly, I screamed. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> Matt, it was funny because Matt was like, I was ready to tackle the guy. I was, it was seconds away from tackling the guy. Yeah. And Emil and Andrew were like, I was ready to run. <laughs> <laughs> they were Dixie chicks, ready to oh, run. Oh, I already got out of there quick. Yeah, but There's he no gave point me a in brush, both of us dying. Huh? And he was like, it's just a brush. And there was no hair in it. It was new. And honestly, I fucking love the brush and I still use it to this day. It was Whoa. like a, a goody brush is what the brand was. And I've never seen one like it. And I, I have it with me here. So joke's Whoa. on us. Whoa, that really took yeah, a turn. I know. I, I, I remember get, getting a brush and being like, I don't even want to touch this thing. And then I looked at it and I was like, I kind of love this. <laughs> and so uh, thanks to that guy. Noah, have you ever had any kind of situations that made you scared? Um, well, situation that made me scared, yes. Um, one time I was walking home from elementary school and, uh, I felt like this guy following me and, um, there was like a corner store that I used to go to all the time. It was Mr. Kim's grocery store. So I was like, I'm just going to go in the grocery store and I'll see, cause he had been following me for a couple of blocks. So I went in oh and God. the guy stopped in front of the store with his back face to the door. And I was like, Oh no. So I snuck out and I ran and then um, I just like looked from like behind the car and I saw him going into the store and then I just like ran home. <gasps> oh my God. It's good that you're aware. Yeah. I would have suggested like you instinct. just like stay there and tell Mr. Kim and uh, wait instead of like try to outrun. But I'm glad that you, yeah, you just, have you ever felt that like someone's watching you and yeah. like been right about it? Why do we know? Yeah. 
because we have senses. Because we were fucking cavemen. We had to get fucking away from cyber tooth cyber, cyber tooth tigers. <laughs> 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 that sounds like a great like um, virus protection service, right? It sounds like. <laughs> Wait, what? wasn't there another saber tooth tiger like joke that we did yeah, on the show? Because the tooth coming out of the guy's nose. I said he was like a saber tooth. No, I don't think it was that. I think it was long ago. No, I think it was one episode. No, it was way back. Some bestie will know what I'm All talking right. about. There was a saber tooth tiger joke on the show. Ham drip. Wait, so you. Wait, so you think that we... Have you ever felt that? Someone watching you? No, but I... Well, yeah. I mean, in New York, there's been times where I've been on the street and I'm like, is this person following me? Mm -hmm. Anytime someone has a carry-on or a roller bag on the street, I always feel like they're chasing me. I fucking hate that sound. I like that because that means that they... Oh, because you can just hear that. I just hate that sound so much. It's like one of my least favorite. I'll stop and wait until they walk like six blocks. You are, so this is a new thing I'm learning about you is that you don't like certain sounds. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of air conditioning, and I don't like the sound of shitty fans. Okay. Nice fans, though. This one overhead, is that bothering you? It's not bothering me, but... An oscillating fan. Has it been fan. looking at you weird? Yeah, he has a fucking weird look on him. <laughs> fucking old cyber tooth fan. <laughs> so, call back, Andrew, uh, real quick, uh, 30 seconds ago. Um, <laughs> so, uh, no, but I had a guy. So, m- this girlfriend, I had a crazy, like, ex girlfriend who was, um, who faked having a pregnancy. She said it was, and it would end up being, like, atopical or something, which is, like, when it's outside. Uh-huh. But I think she made it all up. Mm hmm. And she was just nuts. She was nuts. Mm. And she had an ex crazy boyfriend. Like what? Real- I thought you had only had like two girlfriends. Who is this one? This one wasn't that long. It was like four months. Anyway, so she had a crazy ex boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Like when we were dating, like he, like at any moment he would like call her forty times or like threaten oh, to show so up at her house. That's so scary to be the new guy when the past guy is. Dude, one my little brother was in the bed and an ex boyfriend showed up and no. he opens his eyes and the kids in the in the room with him. Oh and the guy was God. like 6'5", 250 pounds. He's like, you're in my bed. And he's like, what? <laughs> so anyways, that's a whole nother story. But um, so I'm like b- trying to break up with her, but I know this guy's jealous. So I start getting random texts from a number that I don't know. Like, I'm going to fucking kill you. If you go to sleep at night, I'm going to fucking murder you. Oh Shit like God. this. So I'm like, this is the fucking crazy ex-boyfriend. Mm-hmm. So I start sleeping with a knife underneath oh my like my bed, like underneath like the mattress. Yeah. Like Should've ready to go. Should have gotten a brush. Huh? Should have gotten a brush. Yeah, it's scarier. <laughs> but I would have ended up giving it to the guy and then he would have used it and <laughs> falling in love with me. But anyway, so I end up fucking sleeping with a knife for like a month. Oh my God. And I'm like freaking out. I'm like looking out windows. I can't sleep. Mm-hmm. Turns out it wasn't the ex-boyfriend. It was just a friend of mine that I'm not that close with that I just made fun of one night when we were drinking and he took it so personally that he's like, hey, I'm going to keep pranking Andrew because I'm so oh, fucking... Oh, it was a prank. Yeah, it was a prank. Right. I mean, a weird prank. Right. But he's like, ha ha, got you. You thought I was going to murder you. You're sleeping oh with a knife under God. your bed. <laughs> I'd sleep with like one eye open. like, And it ended up being just a guy that like I fucking... I think I, call, I made fun of him for being poor or something. And he got so offended. Do you, th- that's interesting that, that so many things happen when you're drunk and you're just like, I don't even remember saying that or doing that. Do you though, do you ever relate to the thing of like, you'll be in bed and you'll be totally having a normal night, everything's fine and you just read something or you just think about ghosts or you think about someone being outside and then suddenly they're there. Like you just, you can conjure up someone watching you and then get so scared and then you like the other night, I couldn't even go to my the bathroom because I was so I got myself into such a tizzy in my head that there was going to be a ghost. But they're not there. Like you've thought of I know, like I just walk through it. It's invisible, but I still no. But the way you s- set that up is that you thought there was a ghost there, then you went in there, and there was a ghost. No, there wasn't. No, no, no. But the way oh. you said it, you go. Have you ever thought of something and then it was no? You then conjure, conjure it them. like in your head. I mean, oh, like, you, okay. like it becomes so real, yeah. and then you just go. But two seconds ago, everything was fine. Like. What? And I've, I, I've said this on the podcast before, but I wonder when people are murdered or there's someone like that breaks oh. into their house or something, if there is that spidey sense beforehand, we'll never know because they don't make it. Or if it was truly out of nowhere and it was just normal, like, you know, when in retrospect, people always like to tell themselves a story about like, I felt something weird. Is it really that only in retrospect or do people really sense something is off? 
you know, like that you can smell. So, like, is how do we know? I mean, how many times have you woken up in the middle of the night? You're like, did I hear a noise? And then you're like, zero. No, I'm fucking, it's all in my head. Zero. I mean, I couldn't oh, wake up to Robin fucking. Yeah. That, the other yeah, day, I did true. think that if I if there was a tsunami warning, I wouldn't hear it because the white noise is so loud that I would just die. And it, and you know, yeah, I thought about like the white noise sometimes might be That's the wrong get you way. Mur- to, yeah, yeah, interesting. So I'm gonna stop using white noise from now on. If anyone's interested in stalking me, I'm gonna fucking hear. Maybe you. just do it in one ear or something. Can you turn it down some? Uh, yeah. But by the way, just, I despise white noise. That's yeah, another I know thing you I do. Despise. We've been over that too. Let's get to the next question. Okay, let's do one more question quick and then break. One, qu- one quick question and then go to break, yeah. One quick question. Okay, so this one's from <laughs> Kathleen MP <laughs> underscore. Oh, yeah. Do you think... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think you all would have been friends in high school? Oh, good question. 100%. Um, I think we'd be... How would we I don't met, think though? we'd be best friends, but I think we'd be friends. I think Noah... You and I, it's a little bit different because I think Noah would have been so quiet and it would have made me feel like intimidated by her. So I might have, and the way she like dressed kind of alternatively, like kind of, I would have just thought we don't have much in common. So I probably wouldn't have, you know, I probably would have been nicer and she, you were probably nice in high school, I'm guessing, but I don't know Mm -hmm. that our paths would have crossed as much. I guess, wait, what were you like in high school? Maybe were you emo or like punk rock? I don't know if I was emo. I was just like a, I don't like a like a wannabe in the freaks club, but didn't make it in there. <laughs> like not freaky enough. Yeah, I hear that. Like oh. you were trying to, you were trying to like not blend in though. Like you, you weren't, tr- you you <laughs> yeah. didn't want to be seen, but you didn't want to be like everyone else. It's so funny when you want to be exactly. like the coolest loser, and they're like, "No, nah, we're good." <laughs> 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 And I think we were friends. like in high school, but yeah, I feel I'm like fr- Nikki I would have been fr- friend- become friends friendly on a with. I'm fr- yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, like the if, old project friend. You would have been like, uh, you would have done. I feel like you would have been like in the tech for like plays, and I'm not saying that as like you would have been in some kind of production thing, and I would yep. have been trying to be a talent in it, just like how we met naturally, and I think that's how a lot of times you cross paths with people that you would, cause you stick with people who, I don't know. Yeah. I met a lot of, I don't want to say the, a lot of the alternative kids that dressed in black and were a little bit like moody. And I was kind of scared of, of, of just their anger or like just the, four people think you're going to go to cool Columbine to right now. <laughs> yeah. Four people are like, Oh, this is when you going to talk about Columbine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I like got, I got to know those kids either, you know, working on a class project together. You and, went to a bigger school though. How many kids were in your school? Uh, our graduating class was like 500 and something. See, Dad, yeah. then we're not. We're, the chances are very slim. That If you went to my private school. We would not have crossed paths. You know what? I would have, though, if we would have been in the same class, I would have laughed very. I would have thought you were very yes. funny. And I would have tried to be your friend because you were nice. I was, I was very nice. With nice people. I was so. nice, but I was a fucking class clown. But I was. I, so there was like a tier of like, like really like the hot popular girls yeah. that were like. And I feel like you would be no offense. But in the second tier. Oh, yeah. But like the cool girl. With tears in my eyes that it yeah, couldn't be in the first tier. Who, who you think is attractive, <laughs> but you don't know if she's attractive yet because she hasn't really yes, found her yes. like fashion sense mm-hmm. or anything. Yeah. But, I but she's find cool. I was like 32. But she yeah. might not like shave like above her knee, you mm-hmm, know, just because mm-hmm. she like developed late or like mm-hmm. thinking about cock late. So it's like you would be in that yes. area, mm-hmm. but I'd be we'd be friends and we'd have some yes. moments. Yes. But at a party, I wouldn't fucking seek you out. Right, but we in between classes or like maybe like yeah, you would have been popular. You would have been. I was. I was always friends with the the popular guys that weren't quite as no offense, good looking, tall like like the <laughs> because you were a short kid. That's why I'm basing yes, that off yes, of right. Uh, yeah, yeah, like you weren't like the stud, right? No. So I would have. I was always I friends with those King, guys, though, but th- on the outskirts. Yes, I was the the guys that were popular. Because they were friends with the guys that were yeah. popular, but that I felt like they were still approachable because they like weren't getting. Uh, they, that was me. Yeah. If I was taller, I, I'd I'd spit on top of your head, but because I was four exactly. foot eleven. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I I was like the popular, and then I was like definitely popular, but just like 
Just on. But I might have been scared of you because you were so funny. But as long as you weren't a funny kid that like made fun of other people, I would have been friends with you. But if you were one that like made fun of other people, oh boy, I would have avoided you. I, I wasn't. You Stayed out of your line of fire. Unless you came at me and then I was fucking guns blazing. No, I think we would have gotten along. All I right, think that's we a great probably would have teamed up and Let's take caused a, a kid to really be sad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, would, I didn't bully. I think I bullied someone maybe a little bit in like we fourth bullied or fifth grade accidentally. <laughs> Look at this loser trying to be a loser. Oh, but no, I, I, I think we, I definitely talk shit about dorks behind their backs, but never to their face, never to make someone intentionally to the, I was, I never understood doing that. And one day there was one of the dorkier girls that would sit over in this collection. There were these turtle sculptures yeah. in our like common area. And we called the, the goth kids that sat over there that were kind of like the, the outcast, like kind, it was. I went to school during Columbine. No, that was our ninth grade. So those Columbine kids were over, like at, in the turtle. We called them the turtles, yeah. right? And but we didn't say this to their face. And one day, we were like looking over at them for some other reason. Like we were point. I remember it wasn't about making fun of them. And this girl, this brave turtle, came over to us and was like, slowly. Oh, she walked up and was like. <laughs> All you guys do is make fun. Like she was taking out her anger at the table that was over there of the really popular girls out on us. But I remember being like, I respect that she was tired of being the brunt of jokes because she was a turtle and she fucking let us have it, even though it was misplaced because I remember being like, Laura, I would never, I'm on your, we were in Girl Scouts together, but I was sitting at a table maybe with some girls that were doing that. So, ah. and it's hard to speak up when you're terrified of, not See, being cool. I was best friends with the most popular kid in school. Yeah. In my grade. Mm -hmm. And then the other cool kids that loved to be friends with him, even though he was the best friend with me. Yeah. Like kept me around because of him. Like we're friends with me because of him. Yes. yes. But I never felt that close to them. No. Because they were like waspy and didn't love Jews, you know? Yes. And so then... You're just barely hanging on. So I, was, I got tired of them to the point where I almost didn't even hang out with my best friend. I was friends with them to then hang out with the kids playing Bond with like hemp necklaces, smoking Bond. weed, listening to fish. Playing Bond. Bond is like a video game that every kid Oh, played. oh, Bond. 007. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I started hanging out with them, and I got a hem necklace, and I went to fish. Yeah, you're just But like, I couldn't handle drugs. I'm going to start crying at Coldplay concerts. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I didn't want to be a druggie either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're like, I don't want to smoke weed. You just were trying to find a place to fit in. I was just trying to get away from where, like, I couldn't win. Never going to win. Friends. They were never going to accept you. We're always going to be. It feels a lot like st how stand up was, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stand up can be so isolating, so bullying, and so elitist. And you're in groups and oh, so you can't get in. I still struggle with it to this day. Even yeah, with same. success, there are still some people that I'm just like, they're the cool kids and they'll always look at me and roll their eyes at any success I have. It's just, and there's a part of me that I'm going to prove them wrong. But in the end, I just, now I know. Those people are miserable and they don't like themselves. Anyone that's like so mean to other people and thinks they're so cool and has to make other people feel bad and like you're not going to sit at our table, they're so miserable and they yeah. weren't loved. And I truly know that now, but it's still fucking hard to get to. Let's take a quick break and come back with more questions. All right, we're back. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get some more questions. These are great. Oh, wait, are we not doing news at all? I guess no. not. We'll just do it tomorrow. It's only questions. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's one uh, from, Chelsea, from Chelsea Vale. Do you think jealousy in Mr. Brightside sounds like Chelsea? Uh, can we hear it? Or jealousy no? turning saints jealousy. into the... I bet you if we were reading Chelsea. it. Chelsea. Uh, yes, I do think that. If we that. read it, we would think it. You know what I mean? Like that Oh, right. TikTok. You have to like read it when you hear it. No, I absolutely will never hear that song the same way again. Chelsea. Chelsea because they're but British. It, if it was three syllables, though, I would say it's Hey, hard. Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Well, that song I thought was Hair Jealousy. No way. Yeah, I bet my, I told you this. I bet my brother 20 bucks that it was Hair Jealousy. Hair Jealousy. Yeah. Like hair I was so gel? Fucking, like hair gel? No, just hair jealousy. Just I thought it Which was Which it should be about because that's what most men deal with. And they had nice hair actually. Not hair band. jealousy. I mean back in the nineties they all had long, like curly. You can weird trust hair. me not to Wash. shampoo. <laughs> and not to fucking conditioner. And if you don't have a good hairline, 
I'm not going to be threatened. Because all I really <laughs> want is a thick old mullet. Mullet. Feel like I'm... 32. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was trying to rhyme something with mullet, but it wasn't going to happen. Um, yes, it does sound like that. Good question. Next question. Okay, so here's one from Ellie Siota. At Ellie Siota. How do I make new friends as an older single woman in her 50s in New York? Hmm. Um, I would... Oh, man, I know, that's hard. It's tough hard. with like COVID stuff, but I would... Well, mm. things are inching back to normal. The beauty thing... The, the beauty thing. The beauty thing about New York. Yeah, the beauty... Beautiful <laughs> about New York. The beauty uh, Yeah. Um... There's, there's millions of activities that if you just pick what you are excited about, book club, fucking whatever it is. Yes. Meet and up. I don't mean book club because you're in your 50s, but just is like it any. It's called meetup groups, like meetup. Yeah. Go yeah. play fucking dodgeball. Go fucking, I don't know. Yeah. Or I still get emails about a, a, a girl's beginning soccer, an adult women's like to learn how to play soccer for the first time in your life. And I still get emails and was always like, God, a different version of myself would have made new friends that way or um, take a class i think that's a great way to meet people especially at that age you know what i mean like, yeah find what, something what were you passionate about and that you never got to do take a class start that's there a good idea. and then people in that class will have similar mind as you and you'll probably end up being friends with them go places alone because it i think that people are more apt to like involve you in their group and like have you join along did you see you watched unorthodox right yeah by a while a long um, time ago Noah, have you seen un- Unorthodox? Yeah. Is it Unorthodox it's the or Dox? story of Noah's life. I think it's just, um, hey. This is not the story of my life. You know what I really liked about it? <laughs> I just started watching it. I'm only two episodes in. But I liked oh. how Esty, the girl, when she goes to Berlin, she is so, she, you know, she escapes the, uh, uh, her, the, the house, Williamsburg yeah. and, and her life as an uh, Unorthodox uh, wife. And, um, she escapes to Berlin. She's never communicated with like uh, people who aren't Orthodox Jewish. She's never done. A- she's never talked to anyone, and so she's so open to meeting new people. She just like is at the coffee shop and is just like, "Can I help you carry those coffees?" Like she was just friendly, and I think that friend like you just got to take that. You got to take risks. You got to be like Noah and go on a blind date. You got to do the thing that's telling you don't go to that thing alone. Don't strike up that conversation. Don't ask about that thing. Um, and also, um, I would say if you have any like thing that you struggle with, there are like twelve step groups that are great places to meet friends. If you want to like meet with like minded people who might be struggling with a similar thing, and it doesn't have to necessarily be struggling to be um, like not an alcoholic or something. There's like a group called Al Anon that is like even if you had like an alcoholic aunt, you're qualified to go, and it's just people talking about being a good human, and it's pretty awesome. Also, your expectations like. I don't know how many friends you're going to want, but I would I would say I just need like two or three good <laughs> yeah, ones. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Don't think like maybe now you're like newly single or did she say that? Or she said she was single, but yeah, I mean, you need two or three. Just mm-hmm. find two or three people that you, you and, like hanging out with every five days. And in New York, you can be 50 and be friends with 20 year olds. Like I have. Oh yeah, I, there's no be, age gap. Yeah, yeah. In New York, that's the best place to be because. Be open to any age because there's 20 year olds living like 50 year olds. There's 50 year olds living like 20 year olds. Like there's no, you can really mix it up there. It's a great place to be. Great question. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is from at a town beads. If you weren't in comedy, what would you do for a living? Oh, I love that question. (sighs) Andrew, what about Mm. you? (sighs) Um, I don't know. I did real estate before. Mm-hmm. The older I get, I, I wasn't, my mind wasn't ready for real estate at that time. I never bought a house. I still only have bought one condo, but like I kind of have an understand. I like commercial real estate a little bit. I like putting together deals. I like figuring out like who could buy, like. You'd be I, a good salesman. I'm not that good of a salesman. You'd I'm a be good, good, um. I'm a good like. What is it? Like a schmoozer. I'm a good schmoozer. Like you'd be a good guy that takes like the clients out and like shows them a good time and it just like takes them out on the golf course, whatever that is. I'd be great at that. The problem is, is alcohol is so involved in that shit, and especially point, in real estate in that. New York. But I do like, I like getting in my car 
and being like, oh, you got to go look at a property two hours away and like kind of figure out like mm-hmm. well, that shit's fun. And then meeting up with the city and like, I don't know, that kind of stuff's fun. Yeah. Either. So you think you'd be doing that? I guess. Do you want to be doing that? If you couldn't no. do comedy and you couldn't do anything in the entertainment world, what would you do right now if it was taken from you? I, I mean, I guess that. I guess that. I mean, it depends how much money I have in the bank now, too. Yeah. I mean, that's the other thing. But I know. The money thing comes into play. Uh, Noah, what about you if you couldn't do this job or anything in oh, radio? Like, what super other? Super easy. Super easy. I so yeah. badly but I don't have the discipline for school <laughs> to study it, but I so badly wanted to work in crime scene investigation. Okay. Yes. Like That's dead, interesting like, to me. Do you listen to a lot of murder podcasts and stuff? Like, do you, do you, why, I, I don't know you as a, an S, like a, you know, law and order SVU person. No, because um, I used to really be into it with podcasts and stuff. I think because I work in podcasting, I don't really listen to too many podcasts because yeah. um, mm-hmm. I can't, listen to it while I work um right but I I really um there so the field that I would would have gone into is called serology which is blood splatter analysis and you basically figure out the person and the murder happened through the blood splatter and uh all that how do you say serology and are you good at science stuff would you have done well in the classes that would you know you'd have to do leading up to that uh I probably only would have done good in the classes with the topics that I would have wanted to learn about. But right. all the other stuff, it sucks like that you chemistry. Have to, like, no. I know. You have to do all the other stuff before that. How do you spell serology? <laughs> I don't even know like S-E-R- what that word looks R- like. S-E-R-O-L-O-G-Y. Oh, so it's S-E-R. Okay. God, I just... I just love Noah so much. Sometimes. I know, isn't she so fascinating? It's just so Weird, funny <laughs> because it's like either I'm going to do a comedy podcast or I'm going to figure out some blood. <laughs> or I'm like, going to look at the way someone's blood bre- brain exploded yeah, on a wall yeah, yeah. to figure out who We're going to tell some little jokes. <laughs> it's it, uh, it's uh That's my nightmare by the way. Really? It's fucking I hate blood. I who love loves crime blood? scenes? I, lo- I always am trying weirdo. to look for photos of it. Do you ever watch the first 48, Noah? That's a really good show that really gets you into like what it looks like right away and all that stuff. That's more I, of a homicide I re- detective work. Yeah. Most recently, I like Mindhunter. But when I was younger, I used to watch mm. Autopsy, Forensic Files, like all those shows on like the ID network. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's really cool. I love that answer. I would not have guessed that for you. Mine is. What about um, you? Let me guess. Yeah, let me g- guess, Andrew. If you weren't doing like, anything music, in entertainment, I can't do en- entertainment yet. Shit, I mean, I know you're a teacher for a little while. It depends if you'd want to make money. Oh, you'd be a psychologist. Um, oh, I think I probably would because it would be easier for me than what I would really want to do. But I'd want to be a podiatrist and like, oh, yeah. like scrape. Uh, people's oh, foot lesions uh, all day long. It would be maybe honestly heaven them. for me. I wonder if though people that get into that stuff because they love, they're really like satisfied. They watch videos of it because you always find out like when you do what you love, it takes some of the fun out of it. Like for a living, like comedy, I love obviously, but it's it's lost its glamour to me. Uh, but I wonder if scraping down people's warts would ever lose its glamour. I think it would. Man, I, really do. I am so excited. A bestie is going to let me get at her foot in Vancouver, and I can't fucking wait. Now just imagine a millionaire waiting for you there. I would I would love it. I mean, I'm I'm not kidding you, and I was kind of nervous about her work because she was like, I'm going to send you a picture of it. Like, I asked her to send me a video of it, and I was like, kind of nervous it was going to be one that I'm just like, eh, I don't really care. It's so good. And I was like, girl, I feel bad you even have to walk on that thing because I know how painful they are, but she says it's not causing her pain, and I cannot wait to get at it. And I don't know, like... I'm going to I'm going to bring like something to treat it with like I'm going to try to like actually heal and it. look at our um look at the towns we're coming to if you have a wart let us know bring it backstage and I will scalpel it and wow, I that's, breaking you down psychology and you have yet. to just surrender the fact that I don't know what I'm doing and I might <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone but I just want to get at it look if you hurt it's someone no one can figure it you out you don't understand there's <laughs> Literally anyone who has like a sex fetish, there's anyone who will fulfill that for you. You can pay, you can pay an escort to really do anything you want. But for someone like me whose deepest fantasies is scraping down a fort, a wart, there is no way to do that without going to medical school mm-hmm. or I can't go to I can't do it voluntarily like for volunteer purposes. You have to have a degree so it has to just have someone tr- you have to find a friend that trusts you. Yeah. 
So it's it, and none of my friends trust me. Like Robin even was like, I wouldn't let you touch me with a fucking thing. And I'm like, you're probably right, but I'm really excited that because a we see is. you go after your own skin like a fucking banshee sometimes. Look at my, my it's, yeah, I do, but it's so satisfying. And Dude, I, sometimes I watch you go after your nails with the fucking. Uh, yeah, uh, a file, uh, a scissors. And, you t- and you're a, talking to me like a, a nail. Let's file. go over jokes, and I'm just looking at you, look going after your nail. Oh, like, try to get that hang nail and just rip it out. I mean, I'm sure I do things that fucking make you want to. No, jump out of, let's get yeah. to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> One more question, and then we'll, we we got to wrap this up. This yeah. has been fun, and this is just a bonus. So if you didn't enjoy it, um, you're it almost didn't happen. And we're going to do it tomorrow. (laughs) No, we'll be back tomorrow with the real podcast. This is from, (laughs) this is from Katie Kosick for Nikki. Okay. Maybe Andrew. What do you do (laughs) to get out of the looking down at the ground while playing guitar moments? Hmm. Well, Noah plays guitar too. So let's, let's all talk about this. Looking down while playing guitar moments. Oh, oh, I know what she's talking about. When I was playing guitar and I got sad and I looked down. Um, I actually just, I think you're talking about just depressive Mm -hmm. moments in general. Like how do you get out of those? The, the guitar moment was not so, that was a early, that was like almost like the, the sniffles before a cold. Like it was just felt really good to me just to stare. Um, for depression, I talk about it. I tell everyone that will listen how bad I feel and I'm not asking for like I, them to solve it. I just want them to like, I just want to get honest about it and like talk about how I'm really feeling. And then there's something that lifts once you're able to be like brutally honest about it that I found is really soothing. But generally I just try to tell myself this isn't going to last forever. Um, and if it doesn't get better, I, I call a doctor. Honestly, I, I, you got to get a doctor involved. You got to call someone and, and, and get some help. But, um, when I, I feel those spells coming on, being like, how the fuck do I play a G chord? Like this? Yeah. Is, <laughs> She's like, no, I mean is... like, can you not, how could I not <laughs> stare at my hands when I'm trying to yeah, like do a, an A? Um, no, I just feel <laughs> like, yeah, that's, but I just found like the freedom uh, being honest with yourself about how you feel and other people without trying, without scaring them. So when they, you sleep in a month later, they don't think you killed yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but like just being honest because it's you're not uh, a bad person to be really sad no matter what your your situation is, and also just get get help. You know, like and if it is guitar, guitar like just that simple, just like it. What that's what not what you was talking about. If it, you're playing chords, it's easier. You can't look up when you're reading the news. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why you lost your job. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lose my job. I gave it away. There's two different stories. Wait, Andrew, Mine's the truth. How do you get out of depression when you're in it? Like when I you don't feel listen slipping. to you make fun of me for not being able to read. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's it. Don't do that. Don't give them. Huh? Wait, what do you really oh, do? Give them more. Power. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to do that. But do it. Write a letter. So I don't write it. Um. <laughs> Wait, um, no, what do you do? I don't know. I try to, like, I'll do an activity. I'll go hit golf balls. I'll go to the gym. I'll try to better myself. Even if everything's telling you not to do it, you'll always fucking feel better after you Have do you it. Have you ever felt like, I should go do that, and you just can't? Yeah. And then all, what do you do with time. that? You just wait till you can? You just fucking jerk off, and you fucking don't even clean up, and then you watch a documentary, and then you fall asleep with jizz in your bed, and then you wake up, and you go... Man, I'm still sad. And then you hit some golf balls, and you're like, "Shit, I still have jizz on my hand." And Taking like, a shower is oh yeah, so showers, hard to yeah. do, but it and you as a girl, you're like, "Oh, I gotta blow dry my hair." Just like take a shower, let your hair dry the way it is, and actually try to film a scene in the shower. Like you're in a, if you can't get yourself to really emote, just like try to like act like you're in a movie of a someone who's depressed and like get it out and like just have also like have a moment with understanding yourself in the that it will pass. Yes, That's, like the thing that helps me a lot. That it's going to go, that saw, it's not always going to be this way because it wasn't always that way. I saw Tom Hanks talking to other actors. He's like, when things are terrible, you're not getting any jobs, everything's bad, this too shall pass. Easy when things are feeling say. great, everything's wonderful, this too shall pass. Yeah, that's it true. It always passes. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't enjoy it, but just know that these might be temporary feelings and you'll get through it, whatever it is. Yeah, and just try to talk to someone, anyone, even if, you know, 
fucking record record a podcast to yourself. Just verbalize it, journal it. And if you can't do any of that shit, be nice to yourself about not being able to do anything and just be like, I can't. If I could, I would. And just fucking be depressed and own it and wallow and feel bad for yourself. Do all those things. Just don't be mean to yourself when you're depressed. Don't shit on yourself for not being what you need to be, not being able to get out of bed. Don't don't add to it. You're already depressed. You and already spilled water on your computer. You don't like use the analogy when I spilled water on my computer, I wanted to like punish myself. I already lost my computer. Why punish yourself more? You're already depressed and you're you're feeling sad. Don't be mean to yourself on top of that. Please God, don't do that. And if it's tough playing an A chord, yeah. just to put use one Three finger fingers. and cover over. Right. And then just mute the the yeah. The, the high that's really what this is about um thank you guys so much for your questions and for being our besties and we'll be back tomorrow with more show uh don't be cut and Jack. 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 bye, bye.